Hi everyone, it's David with Bring It Tailgates, and today I'm going to show you how to install our Switchback Solo product on your truck. Now I'll be doing the install on a 2017 F-150, but the installation process is pretty similar regardless of the truck you have. Now, one important note, if any items on your tailgate do not work before you install Switchback, then they will not work afterwards. For example, if your remote tailgate lock does not work, then it's not going to work after the install. So we recommend you check all tailgate functions before you start the installation. It's not unusual that some of these functions stop working after some time, but you've never noticed them, especially the remote lock. All right, so let's get going. So before we get started, let's open up the box and see what we'll be working with today. The first thing we have here is the inline harness. Now this is specific to your truck. We're going to disconnect your tailgate wiring from the truck harness and connect this between them. Next, we have the solo block and harness. and We will install this inside the tailgate and run the harness through the tailgate. It will exit the tailgate and come out behind the bumper. Here is the license tag frame with camera. The power and video wire from this camera will connect to the inline harness. Now the first thing we're going to do is install the solo block inside the tailgate. And when you get it, it's like this. You can bend this mounting strap down. So you're going to open your tailgate and remove the access panel. And I've already unscrewed the access panel. And you'll notice there are ribs in the tailgate. And we're going to mount the solo block on a rib. Now anyone will do, but we recommend the one closest to the center of the driver latch. So here is the latch and this is the driver's side and we're going this is the rib we're going to use so we'll mount the block after we run the wire. So the process here is to fish the wire and connector through the access hole at the bottom of the tailgate. So straighten out a coat hanger or some type of rod. Here's actually a, a fish rod we have for moving a cable through a ceiling and you need something about two feet long and you tape the connector to it. Now you need to run the connector through the inside of the tailgate so it comes out the access hole of the bottom. Now each tailgate's pretty different on the inside, but it's pretty easy to get the connector through. So you look down through the tailgate and see the best path to get to the access hole. Now it's time to mount the solo block. And this is very important. When you do this, make sure that the block faces the passenger side of the truck and that this cab arrow points to the front or cab of the truck. Simply remove the backing tape from the mounting strap and press it down onto the rib. And if the strap extends past the rib, curl it around the bottom. The tape will keep it secure. And when you put the access panel on, this will give you even more security to the installation. Now, working your way down, attach the license tag frame to the truck. Run the wires over the bumper cover so they hang on the back side. Now it's time to get under the truck. Trace the wire that comes from your tailgate. In some cases, especially if it's a Ford, there may be more than one wire but you're looking for the connector that matches the connector on the switchback inline harness. Even if you have multiple wires coming from the tailgate, there will only be one you have to disconnect. Now we're at time to get under the truck and disconnect the harness so you can trace, in this case, we trace the harness to this one single connector on this Ford, and we're gonna disconnect that and put the inline harness between those two connectors. It's crazy, but sometimes the hardest part of this installation is getting this connector apart. The older your truck is, the more this may be a little bit of a challenge. Oftentimes, there's a little tab you have to slide back and then push down on the clip and then pull the connectors apart. We found a pair of channel locks is very helpful in not only holding the tab down, but giving you enough leverage to pull the connectors apart. 
So here we see the inline harness now between the two connectors. That's the truck tailgate side. This is the uh, truck side, and this is the switchback harness in the middle. Now, if you look up, you should see the other connectors you fished through. You can see the connectors for power and video from the license tag frame. Connect those to the appropriate connectors on the inline harness. We recommend you secure these with electrical tape. Finally, connect the wiring from the solo harness to the inline connector. Push the connectors together until you hear them click. So here we've connected the solo block harness that came from up there from the tailgate. You can see it from up there. Connected to the inline harness and over here is the connections for the video and power of the other camera. Once you have confirmed that everything is working, it is time to tidy up. Use the supplied cable ties to secure the wires underneath the truck so nothing is hanging loose. And once you're done with that, replace the tailgate access panel and you're good to go.